guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all having a great day I'm sorry that my skin looks kind of a little bit crazy I recently did a hair removal cream video and it's kind of left my skin a little bit crazy and inflamed so that's why it's all a bit red under my nose but anyway so today is part two of my makeup declutter and today we're going to be tackling drawer number two this is what drawer number two looks like it's a big mess it's kind of crazy so basically in here we have blushes down here concealers eyeliners face powders and mascaras so we're gonna cover a lot of things today hi so in the last video i said that the concealers were going to go in this top drawer just here but I haven't actually got that many concealers and they're really not that very big. So instead, what I'm gonna put in this section here is my face powders because I have a lot of face powders and they're a bit chunky, it's kind of a problem. So let's do the face powders first. I'm getting a bit hot so I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. <laughs> so I have all my face powders here. There is quite a lot of them and hopefully I'm gonna be able to get rid of a few because some of them are really old and some of them are just not that nice. I don't really like them very much. <laughs> so, first off, we're going to start with the biggest one, which is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, I haven't actually tried this yet, and I want to give it a go. So that's going to go in here. Will it go like... Oh my god, it goes sideways. Yes! You can go at the very back. <laughs> the very, very back. Okay, some of these have like leaked, so I'm gonna need to give them a bit of a wipe. Next thing I'm gonna go for is this Fenty Beauty one, the little pink universal powder. I'm obviously 100% keeping this. It's actually a really nice powder. That can go just there. Stands up quite nicely. Lovely. The next thing I'm keeping is this, the original RCMA Loose No Colour Powder. I think this is the one that's leaking, actually. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one. I remember ages ago on YouTube when everyone was raving like crazy about this product, but yeah, I do really like it, so that's staying. Okay, so one that I'm definitely getting rid of is this Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder. Now, this pressed powder was actually quite good. The Makeup Gallery is the brand you get from Poundland. This was when I did my Poundland makeup tutorial i did actually quite like this powder but i don't ever use it so i'm going to give that one away i'm also going to give away this natural collection um press powder again there's nothing wrong with it i mean you can't really go bad with a press powder but yeah i don't really go for it very often because i have the ones that i like better so i'm going to give that one away too next i'm going to give this santi mineral compact powder away i've not actually tried this one i don't think but i got this one from shop miss a like ages ago and I've barely touched it so there's literally no point in me even having it anymore. It's just taking up space and I'm just, I want to get rid of it so I'm going to give that one away too. The next one I'm keeping is this Max Factor Cream Puff Pressed Powder. I love this powder like I haven't actually used it that much but I bought it because I like love like vintagey stuff and this is like, like a really vintage kind of powder it even smells vintage so I really really like this one um, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I can go back with the Cody Airspun. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to get rid of is this e.l.f. loose white powder. It kind of looks like talcum powder. I don't ever really use this because whenever I want to use a loose white powder, I will go for my RCMA one. So I think I'm going to give this one away. It's not bad or anything. I just, you know, I don't really need two of the same type of thing. So I'm going to give this one away. Um, the next ones that I'm definitely keeping are my Rimmel Stay Mat. These are my everyday go-to ones. Obviously, you see this one's the old one because it's like hit pan, but I'm trying to use it up. And this is the new replacement. So I'm obviously going to keep these two so they can go at the front with the Fenty. Okay the next thing I'm getting rid of is this Hello Flawless by Benefit. It's the pressed powder kind of compact thing with a sponge at the back. I did really like this at one point just on its own with no foundation or anything. It was it gave quite a good coverage. It's like I think it's actually a powder foundation. I don't really like the kind of heavy matte look thing anymore so and it's hip pan and it is actually very very old and you're only supposed to have it for 24 months that's two years and i've had it for a lot longer than that so that's just going to go straight into the bin the last four as you can see just here i'm kind of iffy about i don't know okay so we've got these two white powders here white pressed powders i kept i've got a white loose powder but i haven't got a white pressed one this one is from elf white pressed and this one is the nyx hd finishing powder 
Um, there's nothing wrong with either of them and they both do the exact same thing. I don't know why I have two. I think I was gonna go for like an, a full face of e.l.f. but <laughs> I don't think I ever did it. <laughs> Um, I might keep the NYX because I, I don't know, I, I like NYX um, and I'm going to give e.l.f. away. And the last two I have is two more powders that I do really like. This one is the um, One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory and this one is the Mattifying Compact Powder by Essence. I think I'm just going to keep both of them to be honest. I like them both. And they fit, it all fits nicely in, in here. So yes! lovely job right next drawer so yeah this drawer is a mess and it needs to be sorted asap so what i'm going to do as usual i'm going to take everything out and i'm going to give the drawer clean and we'll start filtering things back in okay that's going back in is the gel sachet pouch that absorbs any moisture so the first thing I think we're going to do is concealer now originally I had my concealer in this big one but I want to put it in the small one now I'm obviously going to keep my Fenty Beauty obviously next thing I'm going to keep is my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define I really really enjoy this product so that's going to go in there um okay the next thing I want to keep is the Benefit Airbrush Boing Concealer this is a really really good high coverage one so that can go like that I'm obviously going to keep my YSL Touche Clot that can go there I really like that one um my Holy Grail Concealer which actually sounds ridiculous because it is literally so cheap the Collection Last Imperfection concealer it's literally so good so I'm gonna keep that the next one I'm gonna get rid of is this makeup gallery hide and chic concealer it's a natural coverage one it's like in the form of a lipstick I think it's gross I hated it but I barely used it so I'm gonna see if my nieces want it and um, if they do great if not I'll just put it in the bin the next one I've got is the LA girl pro conceal I'm keeping this and I also have this um, Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer, which I really, really like. This is one that I have every day. So I'm keeping that one. So it all fits nicely in there. Lovely. Okay, next we're going to use another little small container and we're going to do my eyeliners. Now, I'm a bit funny with eyeliners because once you put something near your eye, I'm kind of like hesitant to give them away. But some of these are literally swatched or just used once and like never again. So it might be alright. And if they're really, really lightly used, then I'll give them away. But if they're um, heavily used or like not sanitizable, I'll just put them in the bin. The first thing right off the bat that I'm definitely keeping are my two Essence eyeliners. The black one is the Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. Really love, love that. And this brown one is just a long lasting Essence Eyeliner Pen. I really, really love these Essence liners, so they're definitely staying. The next one that's definitely staying is like my Holy Grail one. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Love this stuff, love it. One that I'm going to be binning is this Essence Dip Liner. It's really just, I don't know, it was all right, but it's just an applicator, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a sponge and it's really, really thick. It's really, really dark and things, but I just, I don't know, it's just not nice for me. So I think I only used it on my hand and was like, no, I'm not using that. So I'm going to give that one away. I'm also going to give away this Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner. I literally used this one time and it's not that old. So I'm going to give that one away as well. If they don't want any of this stuff, I will just bin it. The next one I'm getting rid of is this Steeler Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. It literally it's one of those like retractable ones and when you spin it and it comes up and down but it's literally not doing anything so I'm just gonna throw that in the bin another one that I'm gonna be keeping is the soap and glory super cat black eyeliner felt tip I like that one what I'm gonna definitely get rid of is the benefit they real push-up liner I actually hated this when I tried it out so I'm just gonna get rid of that straight away I'm gonna keep the makeup gallery gold glittery eyeliner because it's you know it's fun I'm also gonna keep my two matte fluid lines I have one that is like a nice bronzy brown and the other one is black track they look a bit dried out but a little bit of oil and they're grand so I'm gonna keep those the next thing I'm just gonna bin is this L'Oreal Superfine So Couture 
I literally have just watched it and it's like, it's really fine, but not a lot of payoff. So I'm just gonna bin that one. The next two I'm keeping are these two like smudgy eyeliners. This one's from Soap and Glory Smolder Coal. And this one is from a brand called NYR. I don't know, but it's, um, and it's 37% organic and you know, it's, it's nice. So I'm just gonna keep it, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of this Natural Collection eyeliner in the white shade but i'm going to keep the nyx jumbo eye pencil in the white shade that's all my eyeliners so that can go in the back as well right next one i'm also going to use another little small square one and this was going to be for my mascaras now this can either be really easy or really hard because i have some that i love but others i do like but they're just old and you know i get attached to things and this could end up being very bad <laughs> i don't know okay so first right off the bat i'm going to pick out the ones that i absolutely love and are 100 percent keeping so the one that i keep first is this lancome hypnos mascara love this i'm definitely going to keep my Too face better than sex love love that i'm also going to be keeping my benefit roller lash another one that i'm definitely going to be keeping is the essence lash princess love this one okay one that i'm definitely going to be getting rid of is the makeup gallery turn up the volume and define mascara i think i used this really lightly once and it didn't do anything so i'm just going to get rid of this another one that i'm going to get rid of is this bobby brown sample it's the eye opening mascara the brush is just ridiculous look at that brush it's so big and unusable so that's just going straight in the bin i'm going to keep this essence the false lashes because it's it's very good <laughs> it's very good Next, I have these two Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. Now, the black one is Super Volume Mascara, and the gold one is High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. Okay, this gold one is newer than the black one, so the black one's going in the bin. Next, I have the Benefit There Real. This one doesn't amaze me but it's quite a nice like everyday no makeup makeup kind of kind of one so I'm gonna keep that next I have the benefit bad girl bang I have a review on this on my channel it didn't wow me it's one of those kind of mascaras that you really have to like play around with and like get the hang of it because it's a bit peculiar so I'll just keep it anyway and the last one is this Estee Lauder sumptuous extreme mascara this is a nice mascara so I'm gonna keep that as well why not so at least it's like flush now before it was like kind of piled high also though i do have a backup benefit roller lash so i'm obviously going to keep that <laughs> so yeah that's my mascaras here are all for this part i decluttered my face powders which are up here and i just cluttered my concealers eyeliners and mascaras so i think it's pretty pretty good i got rid of a fair bit and i gave away quite a lot as well if you're curious this is what the gift bag looks like with all the bits and bobs in so so yeah all done sorry if i look a bit sweaty it's very hot in here <laughs> So that's it for part two. I hope you all liked it. So next part, we're gonna do the eyebrow things and the highlight. I'm gonna save the blusher for when we do the bronzer and contour because I feel like they go together quite well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>